What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at some Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Walmart exclusive action figures. So these were exclusive part of like the last like Walmart con or whatever they sort of call it. But we get three cool figures here. So first up we have from Cobra, we have Shadow Tracker, which looks really cool. Comes with a lot of, I'd say, more primitive weapons. No guns or anything, but looks cool. Comes with some different masks. So he just looks awesome. And then from Night Force on the Joe team, we have Wolf Spider, which looks pretty cool. Kind of like a guy that repels in to save people. That looks pretty awesome there. And then we have Tunnel Rat, which of course we've had before, just this is the Night Force version, so we'll have to do a comparison between the two just to see what's different, but it's going to be the exact same you know, character and everything, just in a little bit different color scheme for his outfit. So all three of these are pretty cool, and I'm excited to check them out, so let me get them out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. Well, let's start off with Shadow Tracker, who is Cobra's jungle operative, wilderness hunter, and survival guide. He's an expert tracker that foregoes firearms and uses traditional weapons. And overall, he looks really cool here. Now, I do believe this is more of a newer character, like was invented more recently. I don't know a whole lot of details, but I keep seeing, like, I want to say, like, his first figure was released around 2009. But overall, he just looks really cool. Love this design. Looks pretty awesome. So he's black of some sort. I don't know where he's from because information's all hidden. But you can see he has the dreadlocks, which which look really cool love the design even like the little green details around in there even some red on this side and then it's tied around there in the back and of course from that we do get to see there around the side of his face and on his arms he does have the darker skin he has this mask on as well so this all black mask so hiding his identity looks like he has some gauges in his ears as well so that is like I said all pretty cool mask design with all black there looks pretty awesome it doesn't come off or anything and we get some additional masks to put over the top of it to make it look even cooler then he has a necklace around his neck with some bones on on it looks pretty cool. looks like a little skull and some additional bones has like a bulletproof vest design on here which has some like this greenish yellow color there on like going down the sides and around the color to the back and a little big square there in the back so love that little add a color in there a nice skull on the side of his arm with some fur or whatever going down the arms too he's got the guards there on his forearms which have some bone designs on it too which looks pretty cool there so we have that and then just additional guard with fur then down his waist he does have this big rope sort of tied around there so this yellow rope so again adding more colors as well as this fur pelt sort of hanging out on looks looks like a cheetah or leopard print there looks pretty cool with the dark colors but still has all the spots on there down to the green pants where he has some thigh guards holder on this side some knee pads some armor going down in front of his shins and then the boots on his feet that have some of the flame designs of course we've seen those before with other characters so that all just looks pretty cool so it's just like everything coming together to make an awesome looking character now for movements, we get the head that'll twist around a little, probably hard because of the hair in the back, so just a little bit back and forth, and then can look down that far and again up that far just because of the hair in the back, so not much movement in the head because of all that, but still doesn't really need too much. The shoulders do come up to 90. If you force it down, you gotta push it down because there's like a little lip there up on his biceps, so you gotta push it up like that. And then there's the butterfly joint back and forth, and of course it rotates around within there. We get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that can bend up that far, which is pretty decent. The wrist will twist all the way around and hinge up and down then we go to the ab crunch so i assume he's got an ab crunch and some of the crunch back and forth but because of the vest it's hard to really see so it's probably just mostly crunching at the waist and then should be able to twist around a little but it seems like his joint is stuck so he either doesn't twist or the joint is just stuck and we've heated it up and can't get it loose so have some issues with that especially with trying to get him lined up he's always like this way so his upper section is turned a little to the side and his lower section is turned the opposite way so trying to get it to straighten up but then it just immediately goes back to where it was but then the thighs will come up to 90 and out to the side. Of course, there's drop down hips. There's a thigh twist that'll twist around and the double knee joint that'll bend up that far to the back, almost kicking his butt. We get a shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side. So pretty decent movements, just the issue at the waist there and the offset of that. And then of course limitations with the head because of the hair. But other than that, you know, works like most of the other GI Joes. So no real issues with any of that. But for accessories, first we get his additional mask. So first we get this mask. That's pretty similar design to the one there on his shoulder. But we have this, I assume you just push it onto his face and it'll stick on there. So yeah, like that, it's just sort of hanging on his face. So he has that bone mask, which I kind of looks cool. I like his black mask more but we got that option and then we also get this yellow one this yellow skull face that you can just put up on top and i really like that it just adds that pop of color and having the skull design as well so with the black skull underneath and the yellow skull on top just looks super creepy but i love that design i think it just looks really cool and stands out a lot but then to weapons first we get a knife so we have a kakuri knife which is just a weird shaped knife that's sort of like bent at an angle but looks pretty cool we've had knives like these not this exact shape but it looks really cool there and with this we can stick it down 
down into the thigh holster. At least I assume it goes in this thigh holster. Yeah, it doesn't seem to fit in there, so it doesn't go in there. I guess it probably goes somewhere else. But what may go in there is that we also get an axe, which looks pretty cool. So we have this nice axe, almost hatchet, which looks really nice with like the handle design, and everything. All that looks really cool. So that's an awesome weapon. So this will probably be what goes down in here on his thigh. Yeah, it just fits in there pretty easily. So that just hangs down in there. So that's pretty cool. And then for his main weapon, we get a bow and arrow. So we get a quiver with arrows. So we have three arrows that are sort of already molded into it. But then we do get a fourth arrow that we can take and stick down into this little spot here. So we can have it, you can like store it back in there or you can obviously use it for the weapon. And we have some additional slots here. I don't know all that it'll hold. We'll just have to figure it out, but we'll go and just put this into his back for now. So that can hang off his back there like that. And with that, we also get a bow. So we get a compound bow, which looks pretty cool. I'll have to try and get this into his hands. And it even has like a suppressor or something on here, which is kind of surprising. I don't know why you need one on a bow, but that looks pretty cool. And I assume with this, you can clip it onto his back. Like you can probably take something and sort of clip it in here to be able to store. I don't know exactly how you'd store this on him, but you can just do something, sort of clip it in there, I would guess. And then you can probably take the suppressor out and put it into a slot. So like fit it in there for storage or on this side. Again, I don't know what all these slots are for, like what holds everything, but you maybe just store it on the backpack like that just for extra storage space. Again, don't know what this additional holds for unless you then just take the knife or something and stick it down in there because the handle does fit like that. So maybe that's what that's for or maybe you stick it more off the back over here here so it's out of the way not stabbing you or whatever but there's everything stored on him there so we have all that except for his other mask which is cool but let's go and just try and put this bow and arrow in his hand so I'm not having any luck getting him posed up I went ahead and put the bow in this hand just because I felt it work out especially with how I can twist his head it twists this way much easier than it does the other way for his left hand so I just put it in the right there but I couldn't get the arrow or anything else to stick into his hand so just got him there like that which overall I think does look pretty cool like I said having that additional mask with the yellow face does look really cool and adds a pop of color to this so he just looks awesome so this figure is really cool and then moving over to our night force first we have wolf spider whose real name is parth varma and he's a trained helicopter emt that was recruited by the joe team to become an exfiltration expert dropping in to rescue joes from dire situations and overall he looks decent here like there's not a whole lot to him and he looks pretty plain especially in this form so he has mostly all of this like grayish blue sort of covering from head to toe so he's got the balaclava on his face you know covering everything but around his eyes so you can't see he's black so again a lot of details hidden in there to know about him and then the gray continues down till he's got you know this long sleeves that goes all the way down till he has yellow there he does have a spider logo up on his shoulder so probably like a wolf spider or whatever there so that cool adds some detail to him and has this vest on top that again has a lot more gray has the gi joe thing the joe pros people call it with some green and yellow so again adds some color into him and then gray pants all the way down but does have some thigh stuff it's like a thigh holder there it's in green so again adds a little bit more pop of color but then gray all the way down to the boots so like I said just a little dark in colors and just not a whole lot of detail so this is like a character that it could be really cool but just not as interested in just because they look so plain but for movements, we get the head that'll twist all the way around, looking down that far and then up that far, so a little bit back and forth there. And then we get the shoulders that do come up to 90 with the butterfly and rotate all the way around. We get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far, so pretty decent for that. Wrist twist all the way around, and it does look like it's a flex up and down, but because of the cuff here, it doesn't really allow any movements at all. And then we should get our ab crunches, but again, a vest. So probably just mostly crunching just at the waist and then twist around there as well. Then the hips will come up to 90 and out to the side can do the splits with those drop down hips, thigh twist around the double knee joint that's going to be stiff but can't bend up that far to the back almost kicking his butt then we get a shin twist at the top of the boot and the foot will flex back and forth again real stiff on this but can flex back and forth and twist side to side so that's more of your standard movements and no major issues or anything with him now accessory wise we do get some additional like mask or headpiece so first we have this mask which looks pretty cool probably from dropping in at altitude you know probably need like an oxygen mask or just something to help you out there and i love how it has the one like eye uncovered with the blue design that's pretty cool so we can take and slide this on his head so there's that mask design just so you can see what it looks like on there and then we do get a helmet which i assume you can't put the helmet and the mask on at the same time so you'd have to pick and choose so let's take that off and put the helmet on so of course you just have to sort of force it down onto his head and then it does have the night vision goggles that do fold down there and can if you obviously have it lined up can be in front of his face but it's hard to really get the helmet lined up so there's the goggles more in front of his face so that's the best i can do there so just as that i do like how 
how it's attached there so you can sort of fold them up if you want them out of the way or they can drop down in front of his face so that's cool but I just feel with as much room as there is around this like side of the helmets I feel you do want to have this mask on but I don't know if I'm just missing something but there's no way to get it on because of the chin strap I could barely get it on with that alone just on his basic face so putting this on first because you'd have to do it first and having it go over this would be almost impossible I feel so not sure what's going on and what you're supposed to do exactly but there he at least has the helmet on and then we also get a backpack so if this backpack has some ropes some canteens and antenna here probably for communications and then an extra little holder spot so we have this we can put into his back so there he's got the backpack on there and then we start to get his weapon so first he comes with a knife so this big knife which looks cool now with this we can stick that in the slot here on his backpack so you just slide it down in there he also comes with a pistol and again a pistol we've seen this design many times before it can go into his thigh holster here and then for his main weapon we get the shotgun so we have this pump action shotgun which looks, looks pretty cool has the arm piece that does fold back as well so you can fold that back you know get a piece to rest your arm on and it looks like maybe has some extra bullets there as well so that is really cool so let's try and put this into his hands so there wolf spider has the shotgun in his hand and of course as usual with the thing this piece falls off so I wish they could design some so this little flat piece here wouldn't fall off all the time so it's really annoying because that's a small little piece and easy to lose but there we've got wolf spider all kitted out now and then his last thing he does come with like an actual piece of rope which is pretty cool so obviously you'd have to like tie it up and have him dropping down from something but we don't have anything to do that to but it is cool they threw in some actual rope where you could try to like pose him up or something hanging from things with that but overall I think he looks pretty decent like having him all kitted out here he looks but you know better than he was just all basic love having the shotgun love the backpack on it I wish like I said you could try and get that mask on as well as the helmet maybe there is a way you'd probably just have to heat everything up to get it real flexible to be able to fit around him there but just the way he's there looks pretty decent I like the fold down goggles and stuff on the helmet just the helmet seems a little bit too big once you actually get it on but putting them on it seems too small but everything about it though does seem pretty cool like I said just pretty plain and basic so not as exciting and finally we have a character we've already looked at before of Tunnel Rat whose real name is Nikki Lee and he's a scrappy little fighter that is overconfident in his abilities earning his name by volunteering for tunnel missions and is the Joe's team's explosive ordnance disposal specialist and overall he looks pretty decent here like I said we've already had him so it's not as special or as cool but with being part of the Night Force he's in much darker colors this time and like I said I'll bring in that other one so you can see the comparison so he's got this pretty much like all black shirt on and then really dark gray pants so it just makes him you know darker overall and then he has like this camo sort of bandana there on his head sort of holding his hair down and we have his face there which looks you know relatively the same the other one did have some black designs on his face so having this one all clean up you know looks pretty decent and then has the bandana there tied around his neck to the back he does have a little strap and stuff going on here so a spot to hold his gun with the joe pro on it there and it looks like a smoke canister and then he has this logo up on his shoulder which i know big ben had as well and i've tried to look up to see what it is and i can't figure it out it almost looks just like a yellow yellow griffin over a map of the world so i if you know what that is let me know in the comments because i couldn't find anything about it then he has some gloves on his hands and then has a watch with like a digital time on it there again the darker pants as i mentioned green belt around the waist green thigh holsters going around there with some pockets the gray knee pads dark pants going all the way down to the brown boots so overall i think he looks fine i think maybe design wise i like this one a little bit more i'm not a big fan of tunnel rad just like the last one or this one but i just think some of the design i like a little bit more on this one but for movements get the head that'll twist all the way around look down that far and up that far so pretty decent head movement shoulders can come up to 90 of course with that butterfly joint back and forth and rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that can bend up that far which isn't too bad and the wrist will twist around and should have yeah the hinge up and down for this ham then we get the ab crunch there so crunch forward crunch back so nice crunching and then crunch and twist at the waist there then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and out to the side with the drop down hips thigh twist around the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back again not far from kicking his butt there is a shin twist or like a boot twist whatever down here in the ankle so just in the lower pants here can twist around and then the foot will flex back and forth twist side to side so pretty decent movements overall no major issues with him but then we can start to move to his numerous accessories so first we get a bandolier that we can put around him so let's go and slide this over his shoulders so there we have that bandolier which of course trying to get it to fit along with this strap is a little bit annoying has some issues sort of all fighting together so have to just get it worked out and then also to go over his shoulders we do have this like satchel bag as well so in a green collar this time so we'll try and put this over him this way and there hopefully that'll help try and hold some of all this stuff down and then of 
course, to go along with all that, we do have his backpack as well that we can put into his back. So nice big backpack with all sorts of pockets and holes up top, which if you saw the last video, you'll know what those are for. But let's go and get this into his back. And of course, with all those straps and everything back there, I'm surprised the backpack even goes in. I know on our other one, the backpack keeps falling out of the back, but this one seems to be sticking in pretty decently. And to continue on like our last one, we also get the headgear that has like the night vision goggles on it. So we can take and slide these down on his head. Of course, that's why he's got the bandana, but you just slide this over his head so he can have those on his face for being able to crawl through the tunnels. We do get a set of flashlights. So we have two sets of flashlights with the nice red lens on them there. So this obviously we could like stick them into his hands, but that's what the spots on the backpacks are for. We can stick them down in here so we can turn them on and always have lights sort of shining in front of him from his backpack. So let's put these in. So there he has the two flashlights now shining over his shoulders in front of him. For more weapons, we get a knife. So this nice big knife as well that can go into the thigh holster here on his left thigh. So slide that just down in there. He also comes with a pistol. So a nice pistol revolver here. It looks pretty cool. It's awesome how it's got almost like a greenish color to the barrel and everything. That looks cool. But we can stick this down into the holster here on his chest. So he has that for quick access at all times. And then finally, we get his main weapon of this rifle or LMG. I'm not sure what this is. Couldn't figure it really out much from last time. But it has a big scope up top. Has the nice grip on here. Has the bipod that does fold down. So he has that. So he can obviously lean against stuff for shooting. Just a lot of cool stuff. And then it has the extended little magazine piece here that feeds the bullets in. So that's why he has the bandolier on him as well. So we have this that we can put into his hands. So there's Tunnel Rat all kitted out now with that gun in his hand as well as all his accessories stored on him. Of course, he gets a little bit overloaded, especially in the chest section with all the straps and everything going around him there and the big backpack on his back. But there he's got the gun in his hand now, which looks pretty cool. Overall, I think that looks pretty cool. I like the design. Like I said, maybe with the darker colors, I think I like it a little bit more. But just for comparison, here is that older one. So just the normal Tunnel Rat. So you can see the difference between the two, you know, darkening up the colors for this Night Force one, which obviously it's all night operations, but still look pretty cool. But I think, as I said, maybe just some stuff about this one I like a little bit more to make me like this version of Tunnel Rat. And now having the Night Force Tunnel Rat, we can add him on with the rest of our Night Force characters. So there we have our Tunnel Rat and Wolf Spider, along with Big Ben and Shooter that are all a part of Night Force. So they're all pretty much in black, dark gray, and green color. So very cool to have now the little team starting to build out of our Night Force. And that's going to be it for our G.I. Joe Classified Series Walmart exclusive Walmart con figures where we had Shadow Tracker and then the Night Force versions of Wolf Spider and Tun Rat. All three are pretty cool. Really like Shadow Tracker. He's definitely my favorite. Wolf Spider's decent. He just looks pretty generic. So it just seemed like could just be any like G.I. Joe character. And then Tunnel Rat, like I said, for some reason, there's something about this that I like it a little bit more than the original version. But let me know your opinions on these down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.